Skids, drift, side swipe, cliff jumper. Why can't these guys just drive normally? What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots Savant. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some lovely artwork of Savant. His name is Savant, aka Skids. On this side of the box, I am the place in which something has occurred. Oddly, my mind is the place in which nothing has occurred. I'm still waiting. On this side of the box, we have skids again. I am the place in which something else occurred. X trans bots, bloody, bloody, bloody. On the back, you have a little teaser there of the cross cut repaint. You have a very G1E tech spec card with a bio if you want to read it. Tech specs on the top of the box. Savants on the bottom of the box. You have again the cross cut repaint. You have warning don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And we have Sun Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging also included is the collector's card with that same image there of a skids and on the back you have that bio if you want to read it again and you have tech specs if that interests you hooray for cards then moving right along here we have savant which is x-transbot's take on skids so here he is in his vehicle mode the whole vehicle mode is done in a nice metallic blue so it looks gorgeous in my opinion. Well, as you get closer, so we can take a look at the details. You have some trans clearance plastic there for the headlights, silver for the front grille, a little bit of red, headlights here, done in orange and yellow. And you got some gray, like a dark gray detailing down there. The side view mirrors are rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking those. <laughs> They'll just kind of flop around on you. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of orange there. The windshields and windows done in a uh, dark transparent plastic you get the red and white stripes going down the sides even the door handles are picked out in paints you get a little red going down there as well rims done in silver and going to the back you got the taillights done in orange and red you get some silver back there as well got the exhaust pipes also done in silver there's the top, there's the bottom, it does have rubber tires, it rolls, as rolling things should, hooray for rolling. So there you go. And for comparison, uh, here it is with Masterpiece Side Swipe, you can see how that works out. Here he is with Masterpiece Ironhide, so you can see how they look together. Here he is with MP10. Optimus Prime, so you can see how he scales there. Here he is with the Generations Deluxe Skids. And here he is with G1 Skids because it's precious! So, so precious. Now a cool little feature with the vehicle mode is you can actually open up the doors here and there are convenient little notches right in there so you can get your nail in there. Although I just clipped my nails and I don't have much to grab onto, but no, no, just get your finger underneath and just pop it open. There you go. You can open up the doors and there are, there we go. And there are seats in there and a little steering wheel, which is pretty cool. Even the inside of the doors. Has some detailing, they even had a little lever to roll down the windows. Remember those? Remember when you had to roll the windows down manually? Remember that? Remember that? Those were the good old days. Anyway, but yeah, let's see, you have a little bit of an interior going on there, which is pretty cool. And you also can, if you get your finger under here, you can open up the rear section right there. So that's pretty cool, you can open that up. Now as far as accessories go, you do get a... Little little scooter here, little scooter. It's just done in blue and red. A little bit of silver right up front there. You'd have a little kickstand. You can raise and lower. And what you do is you open up this section right here, which is not easy to open. There are little notches there, but I 
they get, just can't get in there. I usually need my spudger here to get this open. There you go. You open that up, and you flip this out, close that back up. There you go. Got those little lights there. Done in orange. And it's just a little scooter. The wheels actually do roll very freely, as you can see. There you go. Got the little scooter there, and if you want to store it, you can just collapse this back in, flip the kickstand up, and you can just take it and throw it in the trunk back here and store it. Oops. You don't want that to happen. That's not that's not what you want to happen. You don't want that to happen at all. Ah. There you go. Just close that up. And you can just store that back there if you want to. Uh, you do also get some weaponry. You get a little double barreled blaster there. Done in that dark gray with some of that metallic blue and some white. And you can store this on the vehicle mode. You just tab it right into the slot right up here. And there you go. So you can do a little drive by action if you want to. And you do also get this little pistol here. Again, done in blue. And that dark gray, a little bit of white up top. Uh, there's no official place to store this. You could always just, you know, chuck it into the passenger seat right there. There you go, storage. There you go. <laughs> so everything stores there in the vehicle mode. Hooray for storage. But that is uh, basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let, let. You can't spin them when they have rubber tires. You can't do it. You just can't do it. But anyway, first thing we need to do is obviously remove the weapons, get the scooter out of the trunk here, and it's actually harder to open when it's in there. There we go. Get that out. Get out. Get out. We don't need you. We don't need you anymore. Close that back up. Get the gun out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we're ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is you do want to pop open the doors, pop open the doors, and you want to untab this section right here as well. So undo that and bring that out with it. This side already came undone for me, so thank you very much. Bring that out. The doors themselves are on their own hinge. They just want to just bring down like so, once you do that, I need to raise the camera so I have some room to operate here. There we go. So now that we've done that, you want to take the roof section here and just bring it up and that will unhook it from the rear section here. And that frees up the legs so we can bring all this down. And what you're gonna do here is just extend the legs. Like so. Just bring that up, straighten everything out. Make sure all those ratchets going. So. You got that. So now we just split the legs and we will finish transforming the legs. So you just want to bring it down the foot. You just want to reach in here and take this panel and push it out like so. Take this little section here, bring that in and now you can close that up. And that will just tab in right there to close off the leg. Like so. And once you do that, you want to take the foot, you want to extend it out on these hinges and bring it out to the side and then rotate it over. Oops, you want to rotate it this way. Like that. And now you have the room to take this wheel and swing it around. It's on a hinge right here, so you want to fold it in and just bring it up like so. And it'll just fill in that little gap right there. And then we can just straighten this foot back out, collapse it back up. And just take his heel and straighten that out. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass, just like the first. Let's bring that down. Flip this out. Why is this fighting me now? There we go. Flip that out. Bring that down. Close that up. Then you just want to extend the foot. Bring it around so you can bring the wheel over. Again, make sure you collapse that in. Bring that up like so, and just straighten the foot back out, straighten out the heel, and there you have the legs all done. So now moving on to the upper body. 
So what we're going to do here is just take this whole section and pull it down like so. Once you do that, you can take this and just kind of split this inward like that. And now we can work on the arms. Just kind of get this panel kind of up and out of the way. And at this point, we can extend the arms. Just want to hold that bit in place there while you're extending the arms. And you have this little bit right here, this little T-tab. You just want to swing that out and then just bring the arm in. That will come up and lock that in place right there. Once you do that, you have these panels here. Just flip that one in. Take this panel, flip that around to complete his form. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to take this whole section and just rotate it around like that. And that will just clip in right there like so. At this point now, we can take his form and rotate it around so everything is oriented properly. And then you take the arm and you just pull it out like so. And it'll swing out to the side. And we got that all done. Second of us is just like the first. So just bring all this around. And just oop, caught on something there. There we go. Bring that out. Bring that out. Bring it down. Lock that in place. Close that up. Bring that around. Take this. Swing it to the side. Flip it in. Rotate the form. Pull the whole shoulder assembly up. This one's a lot tighter. There we go. And just bring that up. Now come out to the side. There you go. So at this point now, you just want to take these sections here and just swing them forward as far as they will go. Because now we have to work on the hood and all this. So you just want to take the seats. You just want to bring them forward a little bit and take this whole roof assembly here and just pop it up. Bring that back as far as it will go. That will allow you to push the head up and rotate it around like so. You want to take these sections here and these will just collapse inward like so. And you want them sitting so the, uh, the side view mirrors are pointing down like that. So now again, you just want to bring those down. Again, these side view mirrors are that rubber so you don't have to worry about breaking them, which is very nice because the way you have to transform this guy, you probably would snap these if these were actually plastic. So just swing these around so they meet in the middle. And at this point now we can take these shoulder assemblies and just bring them back up. And now we can take this whole hood assembly and just bring it down. And this tab right here will go into that slot right up in there. So make sure you get everything nice and lined up like, and I think I do, yep, I think I do. There we go. And just bring that down like that. And then we just come back here. We take the seats, just bring them all the way up. Bring that down against his back. Angle those wings however you wish. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We, we're done. And there you go. So just straighten up his body here. And uh, there you have Savant. AKA Skids in his robot mode. And he's a pretty good looking Skids. I like him. I like him. So let's get in closer so we can take a look not at his chest, at his noggin. There's not noggin. It's a, not a bad face sculpt. Uh, the only problem I have with the face sculpt is that some of the details are not as crisp as I would like. You can see his mouth is very undefined like you can barely tell he has a mouth it's there but it's not as crisp as i would like you know like i said you can barely tell he has a mouth there it's there but yeah it's not uh not the best detailing there on the face sculpt we have some nice blue there for the eyes metallic blue for the eyes otherwise that sculpt is a pretty nice going on the body Let's see some Pretty nice details going on here, and nice and G1 he like. Got some red there on the knees. On the legs, his big old red feet. The feet are die cast. His big old, his huge calves. He did not skip calf day. He did not skip calf day at all. 
Never does. All day, every day. And moving off the back. See, so you got the door wings, the roof of the car there. So, yeah. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So, you do get your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly head. Can rotate full 360. You can look up, can look down. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You do have bicep rotation, although you will have to hold like this section in place because you can, as you can see, kind of move that with it. It clips in, but not super securely. So you will have to kind of hold this shoulder when you're using the bicep rotation. Uh, you do have over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. You do have waist rotation. You have a full-on ab crunch going on there. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a double jointed ratcheted knee there. You got two joints to work with. But due to just how thick his, uh, his calves are there, you still don't get too much more than 90 degrees of bend and the feet they can pivot up a little bit they can pivot down a lot you got those multiple joints there you can work with so you can get a little bit more range of movement there and also this little suction also can move with it and you get full levels of ankle tiltage and you know that heel spur can move down if you needed to to support some poses and of course we can give him his weapons we can give him his uh, double blaster here and this just tabs into his forearm we give him his little pistol, and again, there's a little tab that will go into his forearm. So everything stays on there nice and secure. Like, so we can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. So you got that going on. One little thing to talk about, too, is apparently they did make a change to the figure because uh, on the hood of the vehicle, there is supposed to be a raised section of the hood. Like, it's pictured, it's pictured on the box, so you can see that little raised section. And the G1 toy has it too, you see that little raised section there on the hood. And um, it's even pictured in the instructions, but for the final toy, apparently they opted to get rid of that raised section of the hood for whatever reason. But the funny thing is, is that, as you can see in his neck, there's a little notch cut out of his neck. That was obviously there to accommodate that little raised section of the hood. So they got rid of the raised section of the hood, but they didn't get rid of the uh, the notch in his neck. So he always had this little tiny little notch in his neck, which is kind of weird, but oh well. It is what it is, but just that's a little thing. That's a little tidbit of information there to bring up. Well, there you have that. Tons. And now for Kavara Sun. Here he is with Masterpiece Side Swipe. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Masterpiece Ironhide. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is with MP10 Optimus Prime. Here he is with Generations Skids. So you can see how they scale together. And last but not least, here he is with G1 Skids because he's precious. So, so precious. So there you have Savant. Uh, he's a pretty well done figure in my opinion. The vehicle mode looks quite good. The robot mode looks really good. Uh, my only little nitpick is that the uh, the face sculpt could have been a bit more a bit more crisp. The face is a little mushy on the details. The transformation is smooth for the most part. Going back into vehicle mode, the arms you know may want to fight you a little bit. You'll see that if you watch the JTI. But for the most part, pretty good, solid figure. So. There you go. So if you would like this or any of X-Transbot's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the X-Transbots Savant. And this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Hey, hey, skids.
Prime wants us to do recon today. Oh, really? Oh, well, uh, when, when he told you, did you say, But Prime! Like, like you always do. No, that's not what I said. I said, I, I, I shut up! He, 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 he said it.